Hi everyone. Soon as we're back on the thorny subject of airlocks again. Uh, a lot of you seem to be suffering from this problem and how to cure it is, <laughs> is what you all want to know. Well, this is one of the things I use. I made this up special with a bit of hose. And as you can see, it's got two kind of adapters on it you can get anywhere. And if you've got two separate taps, hot and cold, then you'd have got no problem because you can make sync up like this with a short bit of hose pipe, put it on the hot one, put it on the cold one, open the hot tap, there'll be nothing coming out of that anyway, and then open your cold mains. The mains will blow up the hose, up the other hot, into the hot, let it run for about 10, 15 seconds, you'll probably hear the air go, and then shut the cold one off, pull the hose back off, and the hot will run once again. All right, so that, that's my old chosen method, but the other problem we get these days, why that doesn't work sometimes now, because a, a lot of these are being fitted. This is a non-return valve, and it will stop hot water from being ejected the other way. So it's kind of like, a safety thing if you like uh, and it could be on the cold and the hot if you've got one of those on the supplies it's normally underneath uh, then this won't work and not with the other old trip that I like to use because plenty of you have obviously got these taps so what do you do if you've got one of these it's a mixer tap most people have got them these days how is that hose thing gonna work now well it won't there so let's head to the bathroom and see what we've got on there ah shame same thing a mixer so we're kind of getting a little, like, a little bit stuck now, aren't we? <laughs> Looking problematic, as they say. All right then, so back to our mixer tap in the kitchen. What are we going to do now? If you're lucky and you've got no non-return valves on the supply pipes underneath, so do check. If you've got none of those, you may have a slight hope because some of these taps will allow the water to go back round the other way. Again, not all taps do. Some taps have got the valves in them built in already that will stop you from pushing cold water up to the hot circuit so it depends on your luck with a tap but this is well worth a try I can't actually show you with mine because I've got a combi boiler and obviously it's mains pressure if I try to hold my hand under this it will go everywhere obviously all the users with combi boilers will never get an airlock it's just this only attains for those of you with an F and E type system with a tank cylinder and roof tank okay what to do get your mixer tap halfway get your hand under the spout hold it as tight up as you can and flip the lever up what that should do then is pump cold water back down through the hot feed around the tap spout and back down and with luck you should clear that air within seconds so back of our basin tap and if you've got a cold airlock as well as a hot one that you've got no cold water coming out upstairs either that will be because it's fed from a roof tank as well I'm assuming the tank's been emptied for some reason and you filled it back up and now you've got no cold or hot so you may get the hot water through by doing that trick down below and if you've got it through you'll probably find this basin tap's get, got it through so therefore I want to just stick my hand under there do the same thing again put the in the middle and flick it up and hold it until it clears well it won't work because the pressures will just equalize the cold is also fed from the tank that hot pressure will not force back up and force the air out because they're kind of equal so it will never go if so you're not going to actually succeed with this one so i have one last trick up my sleeve that i often use Look, out into the garden we must go because outside here we find one of these i'm pretty sure most you've got these i know if you live in flats uh, that probably won't happen but you can't win them all uh, a seagull going over just let him sweep off trouble with living on the coast isn't it <laughs> anyway garden hose now we have a nice long hose and if you take the normal hose adapter off and fit that adapter that I showed you on the airlock hose onto it you can fit it over your mixer tap and I'll show you that hose adapter on there now and all that you've got to do there you are one airlock hose adapter <laughs> and all you've got to do is get a partner a friend to open the cold tap out there make sure this is on the hot side only uh, if you've still got that terrible airlock and it won't go even with your hand over it and it's well worth a go don't forget obviously if there's a non-return valve on that hot feed uh, it won't work at all but this is my kind of last resort 
method for getting it out of here and it's one often people forget about because they forget they have a garden tap outside and once again of course this would also work for the wash hand basin if you've got no cold there so there you have it my handy little tool but unfortunately these days there's not many separate taps left it seems to be in the majority everyone's got mixers even me so life is a little bit more difficult for getting air out i've seen people using pumps before now to try and suck it out uh, and suck it in with a hose with your mouth and try and get it out uh, there are lots of different many ways only one another i saw was a uh, like I'll show you with a hose that runs up to the basin upstairs uh, just to fill the hose up with water from the, from the tap down below uh, and just stick the hose on the hot one on the hot side and then just take the hose off of the actual tap in, down below and the draw of the water coming down the hose has been enough to pull the air out and drag it down so there's lots of many ways of trying to get it out but these have kind of been my easiest and most particular ones but this is one that someone's Oh, two or three of you have had terrible times with this air recently so hopefully that might be a little bit more of an aid for you to get it all out okay that's about it usual space you know where to go all my stuff Derek and 33 thanks for watching guys bye bye So, this is the one. If you've got an outside tap, they're always on the mains. You've got plenty of pressure and a nice long garden hose. And what I've done here is I've taken that little adapter off of the airlock hose that I showed you earlier and put it on here. And this is all you do.